welcome to the Business Export Trends. This is where we give you everything that is trending in the business world, and I mean business news. My name is the Comte Thompson Akrigo, and thanks for sticking with us. Well, I'm gonna give you five trending news today, and I'm gonna start from the bottom, yes. And on the fifth one, it's all about Josh Too Funny. This guy has made waves with his Don't Leave Me Challenge. This is a stick. Okay. When I put down the lip, okay. it is a lipstick. No, don't leave me, don't leave me. Don't leave me. This is a butter. Okay. When I throw in the sky, it is a butterfly. No, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. So, if Mr. Ten Word. owns a beer, mm. does it make him a teddy bear? Don't leave me! Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Don't leave. You, 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 you. Look at my feet. Mm. Mm. Look at my feet. Mm. He can never be a winner. Because mm. he's already seen the feet. <laughs> Five five five, that's a code, right? What am I wearing? It's a dress. So what is that? Dress code. Don't leave me. This is what has been happening on social media, guys. TikTok and everywhere on social media. The "Don't Leave Me" challenge has been all over social media, and this whole challenge was started by Josh Too Funny. The guy has taken this to another level. He's made T-shirts from it, and he started a whole new business brand from this. Now check this out on, on Instagram. He says that OMG 200 orders in the first three hours of release. Hashtag don't leave me mercantile. Still click the link on bio on my bio to get yours. So basically, he released 200 shirts in three hours and it was all sold out. This is what I'm talking about. Become an entrepreneur and do something with the idea. <music> Josh Too Funny, that's him right there, yeah, and he's made waves. Congratulations, Josh Too Funny, keep on doing, come up with more things, and go higher in the business world. Going on to our next story, Volkswagen, that's VW, has started assembling in Ghana. Minister of Trade and Industry, Alan Tremantin, has visited the assembling plant of Volkswagen in Accra to have the first hand bill inside regarding the ongoing work of Osmail. Now we're going to go back to their Instagram page and see what's happening there. So basically they are assembly in Ghana. But when they posted on their handle, we had the honor to host a visit of Honorable Minister of Trade and Industry, Alan J. Martin at the Volkswagen Assembly Plant. He inspected the first certified VW Did it take Tikon or Tekon? <laughs> whatever it is, it's Tikon or Tekon or whatever it is. Okay, so he assembled in Ghana and the progress of the other Volkswagen models to follow. Now, I just want you to follow these comments and let me know what you think. Somebody said that. Interesting. So basically, all body parts are imported and only assembled here. What's the essence of that? Because these cars assembled here are still going to be expensive when other parts are imported. But the question is, now that VW is actually assembling here in Ghana, is it going to be cheaper or is it going to be more expensive? What is your take on that? But then VW responded and said that they should wait until marketing begins and then everybody can know the prices and everything. And then somebody also passed a comment and said that, why are we not supporting made in Ghana like Kantanga in Ghana and we are all over VW which is coming to Ghana. Do you think that government has made enough effort to put Kantanka motors or automobiles on the map instead of bringing in more competitors to come and compete with somebody like Kantanka who can go way and way, way beyond? What's your take on that? Send us your comments, follow Business Explore, let us know what you think and let's go flying on what our ideas can be and make Ghana a better place. Yeah. because this is a black woman who's going higher and higher. Yes, yeah, so it's all about badass boss Sin John. She's been hired by Netflix as the chief marketing 
Officer! Yeah! That's what's up. That's what's up. Congrats, girl. Congrats. Congratulations. And I'll just read something short from here. It says that Netflix, the streaming giant named Bosoma St. John as its new chief marketing officer, making her the first, listen, the first, the first black woman to join the online TV giant's group of top executives. Yeah. So she's going to start working in, in August. She was working at the entertainment and sports company called Endeavor and has previously worked at Apple and Uber Technologies. Yeah, so I don't think this is so far-fetched from her because she's worked at Uber, she, she's worked at Apple, she's worked for Endeavor, and now she's going on to Netflix. That's her right there. Check her out. Bazuma, congratulations. This is what she said. She said that, I'm so honored, excited, and ready. Let's go team Netflix. Well, sometime on the show, I'm hoping to speak with her and let us know how her work over there is going. But congrats and more wins. So this is the second story we're going to and this is fantastic. It's all about women today. Yes, it's all about women today. You got a problem with that? <laughs> okay, so guys, this is about a lady who has made waves throughout the week. She's an education enthusiast. I got that right, yes. So she's called Caroline Essenam Ajobis, and she's launched about six groups of companies called the Caroline Holding. And this is very interesting. I'm just going to list the names of the companies under her so far. The group currently has six subsidiaries, Porter's International College, Caroline University, International Boarding School Services, International University Services, Mercy Heart Foundation and Everyday Travel and Tour. So congratulations, Miss Caroline Essenam Ajoble on Caroline Holdings. All the best with that. Now I'll just read something from one of her Instagram handle. She says that to all women, 10 years ago at 18 years old, I had a dream. 10 years later, now at 28. So Caroline is actually 28 and she's already redefining education in Ghana and in Africa. She said, I am living my dream. I have two more years. She said she's retiring at 30 years, guys. So <laughs> let's see how that comes up. 30 years? I mean, is that an exaggeration? Or I mean, like, do you really mean that, that you're retiring at 30 years? But if you say you are, then sure. All the best with that as well. She said that 30 years old, to see all my seeds grow into trees with branches is going to be the birth of my legacy, a new generation. I've had my failures, I've had my losses, I made bad decisions, there were times I had to start all over again. I never gave up, I stayed silent whilst working so hard. I had to be, I always stayed true to who I am. I never tried so hard to be accepted. I never tried to fit in. I never tried to be part of any circles that were mandatory to be part of if you wanted to blow up. I wasn't and still am not desperate to be famous. I didn't try to have a social media life so I could be termed as the cool girl. I didn't go by society's script of how to make it. I didn't fake it till I made it. When it comes to my team, I always turn down the idea of how my hair was supposed to be or the clothes I had to wear. If, it, if it's a scarf and jeans for me, then that's what I'm going to wear. It wasn't easy, guys. Like, so all she's trying to say is that she didn't go by the status quo of trying to fit into a circle or trying to look in a certain way. She just tried to work hard. And today, it has paid off. At age 28, she has about six different companies under her. Kudos, girl. Let me see you retire at 30. Yeah, let's do that. Moving on to the number one story. It's all about His Excellency Nana Akufo Addo. He's presented 1 million series of dollars. <laughs> 1 million series to winners of the presidential pitch season three. Yes, guys, the presidential page is all about grooming young entrepreneurs. And this year, one of our own, or one of my own, was one of the judges. I'm talking about Miss Rebecca Dunker. I'm going to be talking to her a little about the presidential page. Yeah, go Rebecca. Congrats, girl. 
So I'm just going to be talking to Rebecca. Don't go, don't go away. And we're still here. So the presidential pitch is um, the Business Development Ministries initiative and is an initiative that seeks to unearth entrepreneurial spirit in the youth. And so what happens is that um, the youth between the ages of 18 and 35 with innovative business ideas apply um, for support. And so it doesn't matter what, whether your business is already in existence or it's just an idea. And once you can prove that it's feasible, um, you're good to go. And so we sieve it down to 20 and then the 20 go through training. So they are being trained on how to pitch for five minutes and the pitch in front of the judges. What we look at is innovation, we look at employability, we look at scalability, scalability and feasibility. And so then we see down to 10 and the 10 go through another training on how to pitch for two minutes because on the grand finale where they pitch in front of the president is two minutes that they have. And so we also see that down in the past is 10. But because of the COVID, it had to be reduced to five. So this year is only five that got the chance to pitch, but all 10 of them were uh, the, the bottom five, the awards were presented to them um, on stage, but it was only five that got an opportunity to pitch. And so we see down to five. Another thing that we look at is impacts also. And so they had two minutes to pitch and we had out of three and the winner share coal they tend share um nuts waste into coal and also tar that the cosmetic industry use for their shampoo and other cosmetic products and then anquito which is a mosquito repellent and then the third verdant which is a um, an organic um, herbicide, or call it weedicide, that's what most people know. And so for me, it's exciting and it's humbling that the ministry um, picked the four of us. They had confidence in us that we could help sieve down and pick the top. And it was quite, I think it's a very great initiative and it will go a long way because all, if all these businesses grow, they employ people and um, unemployment rates is reduced. And I want to say thank you to the ministry for selecting me and my other colleagues. Kudos to the ministry, kudos to government for this great initiative. And we look forward to more of such projects. And this is what we need, more entrepreneurs, more minds trying to put Africa, Ghana on the map. Yes. So thank you, His Excellency, and thank you, your team, for donating such an amount to these young entrepreneurs to make something and to make something of their idea. So guys, it's been wonderful having you right here on the Business Export Trends. Yes. With me, the Conti Thompson. Akrigo. Same time next week, right here with me to see what is happening, what is trending in the business world. You can also follow us, Business Explorer, on our social media handles, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. We also have the Business Explorer show that showcases shops, businesses, and everything that has to do with business. So if you're a business whatever business you're into, genuine business, I mean. I mean, follow us and we'll hook you up on Facebook or Instagram and get you featured right here on the show. So, till I see you next week, it's been your girl, the Conti Thompson Aquilo, right here on the show, same time next week.